These instructions are instructions of lies. This is not flexing and it doesn't look like a hexagon, but I'm gonna pass it off as it is. Let's see how it goes over. So on today's The Izzy's, we have been doing science experiments. What have we made, sir? We have tie-dyed an egg. And it's a beautiful tie-dye egg, but what started our journey of tie-dyeing our egg? We put salt into this bowl. We put about four tablespoons of salt yeah. into this bowl. With water, and then we put an egg in it, and then we stir the salt into the water. When you stir it, it starts infusing the uh, salt, and then salt water is denser than the egg, oh. which pushes the egg up. Well, come on, put it in. Let's see. It's starting to float. Yeah, I can see it's starting to float. Nope, also, it's, it's really bigger. No, it's just it. the Oh yeah, because all the salt's on the bottom. So we need to stir it again. We've been using this here chopstick to give it a little stir. <laughs> stir, salt water, egg, stir. All right, pop it in. I like the change of color for it. Oh, it's starting to float. It's floating. Okay, let me let it go. Are you floating? It yes. also floats if it's bad, just so we're clear. So he did this at school and wanted to try it today. And this was done, what, yesterday you guys did this? This feels way heavier than it was in the first place. Because it's filled with salt and fused. Two days ago, he comes home with this from school. And I have been obsessed. I keep telling him that we just need to make a much bigger one. Look at this, from school. They did this at school. What is it called again, Bubba? That, that's the best name. It's a hexaflexagon. All right, let's go look it up, print it out, and then find a way to make it bigger. Okay, I see what's going on. I found one. This looks like it's gonna be tricky, but let's just enlarge it. Make the egg float on the surface. Something sounds suspicious. Something sounds, why is there pieces of egg in there? Ah, oh, boo-boo, it's empty? <laughs> Same thing that we used in my class. Yes! Exact same one. Okay, good. So we're gonna use you as a guide. We're just gonna make it massive, Bubba. This is Adobe Acrobat, by the way. And I changed it into a PDF so that I could do this poster. I kind of like it that big. All right, let's print on cardstock. Well, this is thick. It's not the thickest paper we have, but it also made a teeny weeny one so that I could read the directions. So Boo Boo's opted out of it. I don't know why. I'm a science experiment that I'm tie dyeing a literal egg to blue. But what about Mew Mew? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? She's cute. Well, I believe it's gonna be big, huh, Mew Mew? Is it gonna be big, girl? I think it's gonna be big. Screenshot. <laughs> That's how I do that, right? <laughs> Screenshot. Oh, look, she's showing me love. Screenshot. Ooh, did you find another one? Yeah, this one looks like the original one that I have grabbed. Oh, look, I see it. That one has flaps. Yeah, that so actually all you did was, to do. You just Googled hexagon flexagon? No, you know who this image? Yeah. You know why I wanted to look at it? Mew Mew. Okay. <laughs> Mew Mew. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be a great screenshot. I got that because right here, uh -huh. it says the website where you got it. So I, oh. I typed that in, and then I got that. And Mew Mew got that, and you have blue fingers, sir. Oh. Okay. Cause I'm blue. These boys over here have told me that they don't think I can make this. They are naysayers. <laughs> I'm a trier. I'm a doer. Beats, when I asked you how big it was, you were like, bro, each triangle is like a foot. That's like, Four or five inches. I know, but it, I Babe, that's a foot. That's a foot. Each triangle. Oh. So I retract my negativity. I think that's a good size. Well, I'm still cutting little pieces and still unsure how I'm putting this together. And Boo Boo has colored, he's cut, and he is working on it. Hey, I like the colors. Mm -hmm. I'm finally done. Boo Boo's moved on to science experiments out the whoa. I need this tape to tape it together now. Let me tape. I finally have finished doing the taping and while I was doing that, he's been making recipes. So it's pretty solid. I was going to color it, but since I've taped it, I think I just might put stickers all over it so I can see a difference. So let me go ahead and start. Found them all. Man, they were in DIY Darcy and we have so many different ones. I'm gonna sticker this up. Got it. I did not sticker the backside of it because I don't think it's gonna be seen if I can view this correctly. And if it is, I'll color it later. It has become an experiment in a, 
What? I have never seen a yolk turn color before. <laughs> it's Man. Like mine. You mine. guys are just. There's, did you know that there's a chain reaction? I just add a bit of water to the egg yolk and then it becomes all bubbly. Whoa, you add some milk and it's an omelet. Whoa, what? Cooking these afterwards, nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go sit in a corner over there and fold this thing up, okay? Okay. I have decided to get comfy in Eddie's workspace because it's so comfy while I figure this out. Time lapse. Instructions are instructions of lies. This is not flexing and it doesn't look like a hexagon, but I'm gonna pass it off as it is. Let's see how it goes over. Guys, I finished my flex a hexagon. Really? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, look at it. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> it work? Yeah, go on. Can you hexaflexy it? Hexaflexagon. How? Hexaflexagon. They stop. Can I see your hexaflexagon? <laughs> Bang. Yeah, that's over. Dude, Bang, you got that's it. what it's supposed to look like. Hey, for what it's worth, all that you made a beautiful object. I'm telling you, look, I've undone it. I've done it. I've undone it. I've undone it. It looks like all I have to do is undo some. Boo Boo, you've made one of these. I have a scalpel. I can just like undo some of the tape. I don't know any uh, how to do it because I didn't did not do it. My teacher did it for me. Man, if I go off of this though, well, look, it could be a big dice. Oh, that's a win for me. <laughs> I cooked it, but I smushed the yolk and forgot I put this on, so it's super hot. But it's ready to eat. Your turn. Wow. <laughs> Dude, you completely undid it. It's really easy. Yeah, there's instructions. Yes. Yeah. Good luck. Mm. This is very hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're supposed to go through the middle and the connect middle. this to that, not that to that. For what it's worth, it was not obvious. This is looking so much better. Oh, you're close. I'm so you're close. close. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. You do a twirl. Can you twirl? <laughs> but now with one hand here, you hold this. Babe, I made it. It's so cool. It's beautiful, babe. Thanks, you guys wanna give it a shot? I did it. Yeah. Well, some stickers. Yeah, how'd I do, guys? Good. Boo-boo, yeah. can you believe I made a big one? Mm -hmm. I mean, it took a few tries. One rage quit, but then I got it after I watched a YouTube video. Legit. <laughs> All right, it's mine. Give it to me, no. it's mine! And give me yours. No! I present to you the largest hexaflexagon. What? Is that how you call it? Flexahexagon? I made this! Woo! Oh, it's satisfying. Okay, let's flip it. Oh, yeah. There it goes. I got the groove now. Wait, is that not satisfying to watch? It's amazing! Oh, hexaflexagon. Boo boo, is it hexaflex or flexahex? Hexaflexagon. Hexaflexagon. <laughs> I can't believe I made this. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, I can do this forever. Okay, I will do this forever. Nope, not doing it forever. Bye bye. See you next time. Woo! Hexa. Flexagon. <laughs> Hexa. Flexagon. <laughs>